Hello Taurus and welcome to your love reading for the remainder of November 2020 into December 2020 and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, these will not resonate with everybody. Take it as it comes and please leave a comment though if it did resonate for you and like and subscribe um, in general because it just helps me grow my channel and gives me the motivation to keep doing these for you guys. Also, I generally don't do reversals and there are no genders. And um, here we go. We're just going to look into your love life and your, your person, whoever you're concerning your heart and time with. So here we go. Okay, and your person here, who you're dealing with, who are you dealing with? Who is Taurus dealing with? How do they feel about love? What do they feel? And what do they think about Taurus? Okay, for the overall feel, we have the Eight of Cups. That's great. Um, I'll get into more of that later. Um, I'll touch back on that. And so for your energy, Taurus, you're coming in with an interesting card, in my opinion, the Pisces card. This is the Moon card. Um, This is a card of duality, it's a card of emotions, and um, what emotions come with, you know, the highs and lows of emotions, the goods and bads, the, um, the awareness and confrontation of yourself and who you are and how you feel. Um, this is also like leaving it all out on your sleeve. So I feel like this is saying to me that for a lot of you, You've spent a lot of time looking inward, reflecting on things and in your past and how you may feel and I feel like for a lot of you, especially um, who've been doing this time and this work on themselves, that now you've come to a point in life where you are as you are, you know, people have to kind of just take you as you are. You're not, you're not trying to change much. You feel like you did a lot of work just to get your true feelings shown and you're not going to just change them at will. You know, you're very certain and you're not making yourself, you're not making yourself feel bad for your emotions anymore. Like I feel like a lot of you might've um, guilted yourself for your feelings in the past in relationships and just in general that you felt like you couldn't show your emotions or shouldn't or I don't know, but it feels like you stifled your emotions for a while, confronting them, but that that's that's coming to an end. You know, then you're, that's how you're delivering yourself to the world right now. Is very, you know, you've done the inside work. You're not afraid of how you feel anymore. Um, for your energy in love here, we have the Seven of Swords and the High Priestess. So <clears throat> this is how you feel about love. This is how you're coming across in your vibe, like how your vibration is coming across towards the idea of love in general, just in general. And this is saying to me that for some of you, love has always been a constant battle, like a struggle. A struggle would be better, not battle, struggle. It's been a struggle. It's been, um, there's been, there's been love, you know, you've had love, you've really felt love and, um, but you've lost, you know, and it's really got you feeling uneasy, um, about love, you know, there you have your doubts, you're a realist, you're like, 
you know, you, you know how difficult it can be. So you're well aware, but you're also coming in here with the high priestess, which is in a sense, divine judgment, but not like judgment, divine knowing, um, esteem, this awareness of the divine. This is the divine feminine. And you're probably really good at taking care of other people. You know, I see that you're very nurturing. You are the kind of person that makes a home out of a place, you know, you like being very grounded. It's very Taurus energy of you, you know, to just be that earthy element. Um, but again, you have the moon here twice. And I always find it significant when there's multiple symbols that show up in a person's reading. Um, not just in the reading overall, but in your section specifically, you have the moon showing up twice. And this is saying that like this work that you've done and how you are unashamed of your emotions and have learned to deal with them better, it's really made an impact on how you are now perceiving love and will continue to have impact. It's giving you better foresight and, and introspection into relationships, but you're still very guarded. You do find it a struggle um, to maintain it, the balance of it. And um, you do feel as though it hurts you in the past. And you feel like no matter what, it's probably going to hurt you in the future. Like I said, you've become quite a realist um, about love. Now, for how you feel about this person, which is this last row up here, I love this. You have the Ten of Cups, which is like the happy ever after, walk off into the sunset kind of vibe. And then look, the Two of Cups, also the same kind of, not the same necessarily. This is more flirtatious. This is more for fun. This is more young and new love, kind of giddy puppy, you know, kind of stage. This is that but very much ardent love, you know, very much love of commitment. Um, and then you have the five of wands, which a lot of people say it's fighting. I disagree entirely with that, um, with that representation, because I feel like that's not clear because it doesn't look to me as though they're fighting. First off, they're fighting. I feel like they would be using swords. Yes. And they're also boys, which is why I assume it's just for play. I don't know how many of you parents let your children just go bludgeon other kids with sticks? <laughs> so, so stupid when you think about it. I'm sorry, and I know a lot of people are gonna hate that, but it just sounds ridiculous, okay? It's not, and they're not bloody. It's not a war zone, okay? They're frolicking with some sticks, playing like sword, you know, like play fighting. It's not like, it's not real fighting. So I, this can either, especially when it comes in next to a couple of any sort, it could be big, bickering or good banter, healthy banter. But, um, so, you know, it can mean you find this person very witty, um, silver tongue. This is somebody who you might find maybe a little bit combative, but only in fun, you know, maybe they're very competitive, you know, um, that's, that's how that card comes across to me, especially next to a couple. Um, but yeah, competitive, this is, um, you know, fake fighting. This is like you kiss and makeup kind of shit. <laughs> This is like, you know, not, not for real. It's not the end of the world. Cause it's not serious. Um, so what I'm seeing here is fucking gorgeous. You think the world of this person, I mean, having the 10 of cups, which is like, like I said, happy ever after, like every time I see this card, all I can't help but think is I can't see me loving nobody but you for all my life. That fucking song, you know, um, that's like, da, 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 da. you know what I'm saying? That, that's it. That's it. The little, freaking ray of sunshine, the whole everything. You think this person is perfect for you. And it's not that they're perfect only. You think they're perfect for you because you guys come together as a couple, both of these images in your head, you see this perfect person here in your mind as your perfect half, your other half, your 50%, your ride or die. This is like your Romeo and Juliet came. Okay? This is your ideal person. And you see them as being that potential, you know? Um, but like I said, probably could be very quick witted, um, sharp tongue, um, you know, somebody who's, uh, maybe into sports, um, like actively doing them themselves, an outdoor person, anything really active or competitive. That's, you know, it could also come across as jealous, um, 
or just boisterous, you know, just a lively, really lively person. Um, so you do see them to be like, like a lot to handle, <laughs> but you still see them as like your perfect soulmate. That's like your twin flame in your mind. Like it does not get better than, than what you're picturing. Um, like you could picture children with these, with this person, you, you know, you, the whole world melts away and there's just beautiful skies, blue skies all day for how you feel with this person. It's gorgeous. So your person is coming in as the empress. Love it. Love it. Love everything about it. So the empress is like the, it's also that very divine feminine kind of, um, vibe. This is, this is the respect it, that femininity holds in it. This is everything that's to be in awe of femininity. It's a power. It's, um, in touch with the body, mind, spirit. It rules with compassion, um, nurtures, it takes care of. Um, it's also to be taken care it's like taking care of others and being taken care of in an embodiment the give and take of equal sides so this person's coming in with all that you know embodiment that's what they're they're coming into this stage of their life in and um, you know they've grown comfortable with who they are much like you with your emotions they've lately come into it just in general, they feel very certain of their place. They feel like they, um, they're good. You know, they're not, this is not somebody who's a psychodrama 24 seven. This person's good. You know, they're not letting much bother them at all in life. They're Gucci. You know, it seems like somebody has got their stuff together. They're the, you know, this is real potential here. This says, Hey, not only do you want the world like world with me, but look, I'm coming in all mature. I'm coming in all like, you know, working on it. I mean, I'm not the maturest, just still, still young, you know, still got lots to learn, but not coming in and acting like a fool, you know, not coming in hot, just acting a, a damn hot mess. Um, you know, them, at, them at their rest is something that says I'm good. So they're coming in very grounded, which is great. Um, there's no indication yet necessarily of what sign they have, but I'll let you know what pops into my head. I mean, I do see Leo and how you view them, but there could be, like I said, because they are very, you know, boisterous as a person, but how they are viewing love in general in this point in their life, like how they view the idea, whether or not they know you coming into everything fresh, how they feel about love. Um, and then they are presented as the page of pentacles and the king of wands. So the page is very modest energy in terms of movement. Um, it does show great intention. It does show that kind of fall in love, easy, young, nubile willingness. It has definitely the willingness for love. And then you also have the Knight of Wands or King of Wands, excuse me, which has a lot of, um, I don't know if you can tell there's little lions on the chair and definitely to me reads as a Leo card and um or any fire sign I suppose also Scorpio I mean could be another one that you could definitely picture here but wands is coming in with definitely this is the he's a very impractical king he doesn't appear to be an impractical king but he is a throne upon the sand which eventually will sink you know but this is somebody who they are reliable as long as you know you're their center of their world you know to who is important their family and friends close friends very very solid person um and this is somebody that is really warm to the idea of love very warm very um story kind of head about it like they they have an idea about what they think love is and they really are not wanting to settle for less than that do i see them exactly being the kind of you know lothario to run out and just grab it no i don't really see it necessarily um i don't see them really worried about that that much i think they are just certain it's going to happen one of these days and they're going to definitely value it they've been thinking about it their whole life childhood to adulthood 
they have always had a good idea of what they want love to be like and true love so they're open they're willing they have a good idea of what you know might be a little high standard actually you know what they consider true love so what they're viewing you comes in as the four of pentacles the hermit and the knight of cups this is interesting for them to pull up for you taurus um they see you as balanced which is not actually that surprising you are after all a taurus you're an earth sign that grounded you know they see you um reasonable logical smart um they don't see you as just being a foolish person at all um the opposite of foolish um at least they take you seriously they do they take what you say seriously they take who you are they have respect for you um they can tell that you've done this work on the inside they can tell but i feel like they think that you know you've done the work it shows a lot about who you are to them but they feel like approaching you um or they want you to approach them one of the two um i would even put it that they want you to approach them that they are willing to they're ready to give if you come towards them with your chalice here you know um yeah definitely they're they're ready for you um i do have pisces energy here i also have air energy so water air uh definitely water because you got pisces here is the or no this is not pisces excuse me this is the virgo card is it not Yeah, Virgo is a hermit card. They might see you as, um, you know, maybe you guys have known each other a while. It does feel like new, but it doesn't feel that reason. I mean, within the last couple of years, maybe even months. Um, no, I would, I would say a little longer than a couple months, maybe. Um, but... They, you know, they have seen that you've been putting some work in, that you've done some soul searching. They see you as being that kind of smart, practical person to do that. They don't think that you're going to hurt them. They don't see you as very threatening um, at all. Um, they, you know, they view your, you as like this Knight of Cups here and that's, you don't even see a sword. You don't even see a freaking sword. You think you do, you don't. It's just your mind puts one there and there's not even one there. This is very un, unthreatening energy. They don't, this is all, none of these people have, there's no, you know, I guess the hermit could hit you with a stick, but then, you know, what is he going to do to walk around with? <laughs> you know, this is very, how they feel. They have wands and theirs, but they don't have swords, wands, anything of that nature. Um, and how they view you, they view you as very safe. Not in like a bad way, safe. They just don't see you as like a psycho bitch. You know what I'm saying? They see you as like cool. Um, very cool headed, very calm. They see you as, um, a, like a, like a safe haven for them emotionally and physically. Um, and they want to exploit that. They like that about you. They want to, they want you to be their safe space, safe space. You know, the person that they can lean on and talk to They want that from you. And they see that's, you know, that's how they view you. Okay. And with the whole eight of cups on the bottom, like I said, I'll, touch back on this this is about and you see the moon here again so this i feel like it's definitely telling me more so your side of this um because you have like the moon as your base character of who you are and then you have for your, how you view love in general you have the high priestess which also has a moon in it we have a moon here so to me this is very much has to hold a lot of it has to do with emotions all of this has to do with super amount of emotions coming to terms with them and learning to share them in the future and accept someone else's um, 
with the same kind of dignity you did with your own. And I think it is indicative that they they have struggled with people in the past not being so certain of their emotions with them. Like they've probably been played many times with people who they didn't take them seriously, left them, left them not understanding why somebody would just not say, hey, I'm ready to go, I don't wanna be with you anymore, instead of doing something awful, like getting cheated on or something, which probably happened to them because you know they really make that important to them, that they want somebody that is going to be more forthcoming and more just true them true to who they are real honest and um i think you guys will find that love fulfillment in this if this continues um let me get some more cards here and see what direction this is going my spirits my guides my angels can i get some direction for where this situation ship is heading in the upcoming weeks for taurus for this love interest thank you wow well, okay. Ooh. Holy shit. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to curse. Holy biznatch. Okay. Wizow, what's going on? Okay, hot tamales. I'm going to go ahead and say both of you have been manifesting this, this union, um, or that it's being manifested beyond you, and it's more like it's in the universe. So this is coming in with the magician, the knight of swords, the knight of pentacles, and the death card. Like, can we get a, can we get enough action going on here? You guys tired of waiting? Is that what this is? Because that's what it looks like. The magician, this is everything about manifestation. This is about having the right timing. This is having the right tools, the right words, the right moments, the, the you know, perfect time and place. This is it, this is that creation of that. That is divine powers at work and your ability to beckon those divine powers to your benefit and to create the perfect moment, the, you know, where everything lines up, manifestation, where you have everything lined up and you bring that about. Just wish it, and you guys both have been um, manifesting each other somehow, but it's been actively both of you. Um, and the direction here we have the Knight of Swords, the Death card, and the Knight of Pentacles. This is very fast. This Knight of Swords energy is super fast. This is means business. He's got the sword out. He's not even waiting to unsort it. He's like unsheath it, should I say? Unsheath it. He's he's guns blazing. Ready for action now. Ready for action now. And with the death card, this is um this is end of a cycle. This is the rebirth, renewal. This is letting go of the past. This is moving beyond old traditions. This is meant to be. This is part of life. It is, you know, the end all. It is the point, the purpose, and part of the cycle all in one. And the Knight of Pentacles. This is benefit. This is an offer. This is a gift. This is valued. This is a proposition, even a building of a partnership. So what I'm seeing here is that, you know, you guys are both wanting this. Um, and you guys have somehow on some level been manifesting this, whether subconsciously or consciously you have been manifesting it. But I would say it's both very active, you know, manifesting and that you guys are very um both of you are very very determined and i feel like you both are kind of very grounded people and i think you guys have gotten pretty tired of waiting for the other person to push things further between you two um and that's coming to an end that that whole holding back um And it's going to be letting each other know that, hey, like, you're more than just action to me. You're more than just a piece of ass. <laughs> like, I care about you, and I'm willing to give a part of me to show you I'm serious right now. I'm going to give something of mine, of me, that I consider valuable, who I am. We both value each other's emotions and how you really feel. You know, 
that's very important to you. It's where you hold a lot of your dignity and respect in your life for yourself. And you're both willing to put that out there. And it's, um, what, what, what you manifest is going to happen. There's only, you know, that's, that's just going to happen. So it's looking good. Um, I'm going to pull some, some Oracle cards for you from a few decks and get some more messages. Can I get some more messages for Taurus, please? Can I get some more messages for Taurus, please? please, 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 please. Life unveils her holy face beauty. Take with you your all religion. The measures and immeasurables time. And let there be in your heart a song for each cup. Eating and drinking. So this is definitely saying to me, um, for sure. Um, I can definitely see you guys going out soon. I see a date happening in the near future, um, before next Sunday. And, um, I definitely see a date between the two and a great date at that, or, you know, some sort of time. I wouldn't, maybe don't call it a date. Maybe you guys are not that early or far in, but there's time spent together in the next week. I see for sure. Um, or time spent even thinking about each other. It's time of each other's lives dedicated, encompassing the other person, you know. Um, life unveils her holy face. This talks about beauty. This doesn't just mean your physical beauty, just in general. Taurus, which you are coming off across as very attractive to this person. And um, you find yourself very attracted to this person. You might feel actually quite shy around this person which may make you feel uncomfortable because you probably don't feel that way all the time. Um, then you have take with you your all religion. This talks about faith and it's about the inner knowledge, the um, certainty, the certainty in that which you can't just hold and measure with your bare hands. Um, quite like love, quite like trust and all the things necessary for love. Um, and it also says take with you your all. But it also means take your all with you and take all for all that you are worth. And like really find the investment to bring your full self to every occasion. Then you have the measure and the immeasurable, which is time. This is a very standstill card. This says time is, you know, fluid. It doesn't really exist. Especially, you know, we, re we measure our world in time in things that are physical, that we can see, that we can make sense of. But that's not, you know, real time is, it's ageless, it's timeless, it just exists because of the things we put around it. Um, and I think this one's really just saying to you that, you know, they are, they're definitely in their, like, in their head about you, you know, daydreaming about you, time suspends when you guys are together kind of thing. And it says, let there be in your heart a song for each cup. And this is eating and drinking. And um, this doesn't talk just about necessarily eating. That's probably, you know, why I'm picking up on like a, a physical date. because so you guys are getting something to eat um, or drink after drinks or something. But it's also just speaking about generosity in general. And making room for all the things you love in your life. It talks about letting go of things in the past and the cycle of finding new things that you love, making room for the things you love in your life and um, dedicating yourself and, and, and really opening yourself up to new views and new things. And so this is just a whole bunch of great new possibilities. I see this as being a very healthy relationship for you guys. I feel like you guys are emotionally ready for it. This is what I'm picking up from it. And all right, Taurus, can I get another message for Taurus for this love that they are in the midst of? Can you please tell me what is the most important thing Taurus needs to know right now? What is the most important thing Taurus needs to know right now? Illumination, forgiveness, inner peace, 
fulfillment. Beautiful. I love those for you. The illumination card is not one that I pull up often. Um, matter of fact, maybe one other time and in, in ever. <laughs> and the forgiveness card is also very beautiful. Inner peace and fulfillment are, you know, very out of the koi in the inner peace. You have two moons again showing up here um, in your in your pictures. Excuse me. You have three. You have three and all of them but inner peace. And they're all at different phases. You have a full moon. You have a quarter moon. And you have a like a Cheshire cat kind of sliver of a moon. Um, so emotions are a big part of this message here. Huge part. Especially with um, inner peace. The one that's not necessarily about the emotions. Inner peace here is in balance with the two fish, with the um, life partner vibe here. So this is saying that, you know, that soul searching you've done, the work that they've been doing for themselves as well. You guys letting go of the past, letting go of petty shit. Um, you know, if, when you guys meet each other and you're both at peace with each other internally, it's nothing but good after that because you're not taking from each other hurt people hurt people and if you are not to hurt people you're not going to be hurting people you're both satisfied people within themselves who can build something truly fulfilling the two of you this is more pisces energy and going to most guarantee you you're dealing with the pisces and or pisces vibed person or their venus is probably a venus or their moon could be a uh, pisces um this is all great. This is all great. This is like serious, like foundation possibilities here for you and whoever this person is. But I'm guessing a Pisces. Um, could also be a Virgo, but I'm gonna stick with what, I, what I'm going with. Um, could also be a Cancer, but I'm gonna say more than likely for most of you, it's Pisces. Um, can I get a? <laughs> Can I get a spirit animal to guide Taurus for the remainder of the month in this energy of love and their love life? Can we get a spirit animal to please guide my Taurus for the remainder of the month in their love life? Ooh. Oh my gosh, love it. Never pull this one. The humpback whale, the singer. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. Love it. It says, Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and your powers in the soul. That is so perfect. Having the humpback whale following you is having the largest mammal at your back. Like, no, nothing's going to mess with you. This is, and this really rings in with this manifestation card here that you have of your magician that's really saying you got like whatever you set your mind to right now especially in terms of love since this is a love reading it's you are divinely guarded you um your, your purpose your int intention will be heard um and you're not going to be alone in this and it, you're going into deep there's the moon again here's the moon again okay crazy this is emotion so the, the depths of you your depths of your emotions here that these whales are in okay the depths of your emotions you won't be alone you will be heard it is going to be deep but it is beautiful long lasting it is eternal it is graceful it's i mean this is beautiful beautiful it's free it's very free it's liberating and, you know yes the ocean's a big scary place but you've got the humpback whale right now guarding you in the oceans of love okay like your emotions can handle this you've got this congratulations Taurus I love this for you please like and subscribe if you haven't already and um, let me know in the comments below if this resonated for you and I will see you guys soon